Hello everyone, it's Uncle Destiny back with you. I know it seems a little dark tonight and a little late with this video. This the past few weeks have been a little busy both with technical issues and life issues. But we're going to go ahead and get the reading in for the month of March and we'll see what it holds since also this month will be the spring equinox. So we're going to be moving out of winter and into spring. So let's see what they have to say. Alrighty, so we've thrown the bones, and here is our spread. Now, interestingly enough, we've got the number 12 again for our dice piece, and we're going to start there as opposed to with the bone, main bones as I usually do. So, if you remember, number 12 has to do with endings, healing, closure, and spirituality. So I want you to look at any piece of advice that we've been given by the bones, around the issues of endings, around the issues of healing, around the issues of closure, and around the issues of spirituality. These are the themes that are coming, coming up for this period. So, let's look at what else we have in our spread. Now, we've removed the things that went off the reading surfaces, which are these over here. And we move back to our main bones. Now, it's a little harder to see a unified image in this, but there's something going on here. So, this one here, I'm going to start with this one. It's the one that is in the mix of everything. This is, again, the social family bone here. And these are the work and home bones. And you notice that these two, with the way they're crossed, this one is the work bone, this is the home bone. And at the crux, we have the uh, support bone, one of the spinal ones. Actually, I should say, not some of the spinal ones, one of the, one of the tail bones. And it's, that's talking about balance. And so there needs to be balance in the aspects of what we're dealing with and when we deal with work as just as much as home. And in this way, work is more evenly divided between what's up here and what's below. But the home bone is only in minimum contact. So there's an aspect of where we're looking at the balance of what is our work life like. And that's what we also get with the uh, piece of the tailbone here. Now, remember, as I said, this is all going to be about endings, healing, closure, and spirituality. So we're looking at what is the balancing you know, elements of work. That is, that are endings, that are healing, that are closure, that are spirituality. And how are we balancing them? And we're only getting a barest touch of that into our home life as well which is why we have just minimum contact. It also, if you look at it, kind of forms the letter Y. So there's an aspect of why are we doing our work? And that's not just the work we do to pay the bills, it's the work we do as our existence and purpose in the world. Be it to love someone, be it to make sure others know their worth, be it to disassemble the fears of the past and then how do we go to our home to rekindle that energy to get up and do it in the next day that's going on there so as I said before this one here this is the family slash social bone or social slash family bone and it is caught up in a lot of things here and we've got the shell, which is turned uh, upside. We've got the inside of it. So this says this is going to be matters going on internally. We've got the quartz piece here. Or this is not quartz piece. The uh, copper piece. And that is talking about spirit. That's where connection and energy. And you'll notice that the um, spinal bone, the one that's, um, that I sometimes also refer to as sometimes looks like a pelvis bone, is here and really it looks much more like the spinal bone so there's much more about the um, energies that are going into the mind and the ideas and the fact that it's sitting so much on top of the copper piece shows that there's spirit really going to be pushing for an influence and change and you notice too we have two of the rib bones uh, that are on either side almost like a parentheses so this is emphasizing a lot more of the internal work with spirit focusing on trying to bring your 
thoughts into a more of alignment and into more of a sense that what are we doing to take care of our families? What are we taking doing to take care of our social worlds, our social and larger families? And again, that's the family of blood and that's the family of choice. And, he, and just as much, this is the family of the world which, which we live in. And that's the one we're getting a lot of energy here and that's a lot of where the focus is. Because this is where we got the biggest clustering of bones and this is where some of the deepest and most important work is going to need to be done is around family is around the family of choice is around the society but it also means there's also a lot of energy and that energy can be turbulent that energy is going to be coming in so many different shapes ways and forms and like i said before this energy is going to be around endings. This energy is going to be around healing. This energy is going to be around closure. This energy is going to be around spirituality. Many of the things going on now need to either come to an end, need to definitely be worked on as healed. They need to have some sort of closure and resolution, and they are strongly going to be about the spirit. Now, when I, especially when I say spirit, the question isn't, I should say, it's this, what is the spirit, what is the intent? Not just whether it is the Orisha, Loa's gods, or the ancestors, but what is the spiritual intent that is meant here? Is there a spiritual intent to heal? Is there a spiritual intent to have closure? Is there a spiritual intent to have endings? Is there a spiritual intent to work for the betterment of the family of blood, of the family of choice, or the family of society? But it's all going on here. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of resources. They just have to be focused to be able to do that. And they're going to be about the internal stuff, much more so than the external. Now, the quartz piece is the one that's sitting uh, in between these two. And again, the quartz piece is about memory. It's the crystallization of the past, as well as the records of it. And it's sitting here sort of floating in between the work and home and the f social. And it's here to be able to provide energy to both, but it's really here to be stand on its own. And the aspect of when we talk about pulling the problems of the past, the things that people have not let go of, the old memories, the old slights, they're the things that need to be ended. They're the things that need to be healed. They're the things that need closure. They're the things that need to be, that are of spirit, that the spiritual energy around them is not healthy. So it's looking at how much can we actually move forward without actually making decisions that are lost in the negative energy of the past. Yes, mistakes were made. So how do we move forward? How do we try and set a new dynamic? But how do we also take that, what's happened in the past, and learn from it? Because it's, again, it's about us learning about it as opposed to reenacting the vengeance. That's the hurt emotions. How do we find the rational, logical portion of it and bring that forward? So over here, we've got some of the few stragglers that are coming in. And there's not a lot of energy coming in. As you can see, they're small, but they're also balance bones. They're bones from the tail. And why that's important is that as all of this is going on, eventually balance will come in. These are the parts that will help finalize balance, and we need to be able to focus on them. We need to be able to set things up so they can just slide in and provide those final keys to the puzzle. But you've got to work most of the puzzle beforehand. Now the question is, are you going to start with the inside pieces or are you going to start around the edge? And even though you don't have a picture. Because the picture, if you're focusing on that one that's trapped here in the quartz pistol, crystal, it may well be the wrong picture. It may well be that you need to start from the inside, which is what's being recommended by the shell piece, then from the outside. This is Uncle Destiny on behalf of the ancestors, the Orishas, the Loas, and the Gods. I'm wishing you well for this coming spring season. And may the spirits and ancestors bless you. Asha.